Welcome back guys, and as you know from the last episode, things are a little bit tighter right now. Have a look at the league table. Out of nowhere, Real Madrid and Barcelona have been picking up wins. They're now the top two. It's just unbelievable. Only a couple of episodes ago, they were all the way down mid-table. Sometimes, anyway, they were around, you know, between 6th and 10th. And it's just all of a sudden, they're at the top. I, I don't really know what's happened there. They've just hit some really good form. But do not fear, we have a lot of games in hand. We've only played... 19 games. Only Deportivo have played as many as us. So we have got a huge advantage going into the next few games. But before we do get into the next few games, we've got goal of the month to do and we've got our retro report to do. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't actually many goals to pick from. We didn't score too many. And when we did, they weren't really fantastic goals. But for me, the header by Gamero had to be the winner here. It's such a difficult technique to score a header from there. Have a watch. We've got a free kick within five minutes here. And that's a decent delivery. Gamero's there. Oh my god. Gamero is amazing. He, he just is. He is absolutely incredible in this game. He scores all types of goals in this. I was not expecting that. I very, very rarely score from free kicks that far out. I think another reason I picked it, guys, is because I just don't score goals like that very often. So well done to Gamero for, uh, for getting goal of the month in January. But now it's time for a retro report and today we are looking at Koke. He's a legend at this club. He's been there for so, so long. This is his FIFA 12 card. 72 rated, so he was a silver. 68 pace, 62 shooting, 72 passing, 67 dribbling, 63 defending and 55 physical. So he's actually very well rounded but not particularly fantastic in any part of his game. Maybe his passing is slightly above average but 72 passing being 72 rated again it's not a very good card let's be honest it's not very impressive at all but he was young little did they know a star was in the making two years later guys and a massive upgrade up to 81 rated now he had a position change as well he's now a cam although he was actually playing on the wing sometimes sometimes on that left side of a 442 but either way his pace got upgraded to 75 his shooting up to 72 83 passing, 81 dribbling, 60 defending and 62 physical. It's a really, really nice card. But it gets even better when we move into FIFA 16. They upgrade pretty much everything um, except from his defending and his pace. This is actually as quick as he's ever been. They actually downgraded his pace in FIFA 16 to 74, so only a little bit. His shooting is 72, his passing's 85. But his dribbling is now 81. His defending's gone down. Clearly wasn't playing much of a defensive role anymore. So down to 53 there. But his physical went up to 73. Now that for me was the biggest upgrade he's had. It makes him much more viable in the centre of midfield. You do need a bit of strength there. He's not exactly the tallest player. And I think with his physicality going up, it didn't matter that his pace had gone down slightly. It kind of, it, it made sense. So... Really, really nice card. I think that obviously this year he's even better, but I remember this card last year in FIFA 16 being very, very good. A very well-rounded card. And that is Koke's retro report. Up next, I'm thinking of doing either Godin or maybe Wanfran. Wanfran might be an interesting one. I remember he used to be a right winger, I believe. So we can take a look at him next time. But let's get into the first game of the episode. I've decided because they're down in the bottom five and it's a home game, we should be... Easily getting the three points here. There you go. We get a 2-1 win. Not actually easy, but Griezmann and Carrasco do score the two goals to give us the three points. And it means we're getting closer to the big game against Barcelona. I cannot wait for that. We're getting very lucky with our fixtures at the moment. Celta Vigo down in 18th place. And again, it should be an easy home win. It is. Another 2-1 victory. Correa and Gamero this time scoring. That was my second team. So... Granero gets another appearance. I think he's going to be very close to getting all five done soon. But now we're even closer to the Barcelona game. And also, guys, Champions League. It's coming. But it's not going to be easy, guys. We've got seriously unlucky with the fixtures this time. We've got Bayern Munich. I mean, up there, top three teams maybe. It could be a very, very tough game, that. So uh, we've got one more league game to do first. Deportivo, Alaves. And then Bayern Munich and Barcelona in a row. It's going to be extremely tough this episode. But that's two games down, two wins. Let's get a third in the league. And hopefully we can get two more to round off this episode. Imagine if we win 
all of these games. That would be really, really good. So into the next game, guys. This is the lineup we're coming up against, a 4-2-3-1. I don't really know too much about these guys, to be honest. Here's my squad, the 3-4-3. Strongest team I can put out. We've got Saul and Koke back in the middle. Griezmann playing up top. Williams, Carrasco. It's a deadly team. We've been doing so well this season. Let's just continue our good form at the moment. Here is Carrasco over the top for Alexandro. What an impact he's had on the team already. He's gone round one. Put it through for Griezmann. He's in. And Griezmann scores. And just like that, guys, 19 minutes in, we've got the advantage already. Although they're on the attack now. That's a dangerous cross. Laporte deals with it. Let's come back into the box. Oh, Godin. The automatic tackle of dreams. I didn't have to do anything there. The computer did it for me. And now we get on the break here with Carrasco. Go on the inside. Through for Koke. Little 1-2 maybe with Griezmann. Nope, give it to Williams instead. I'm going to have a shot. Oh my god, Williams has scored from outside the box. That is a stunning strike. Is this an early contender for goal of the month for February? That is a brilliant strike. Bounced just in front of the goalkeeper, I think, which makes it so difficult to save. And there is the second goal, the two-goal cushion. I think we're going to win this game. Can we make it 3-0 before half-time and well and truly kill this game off? He should be able to get there. God, Williams, he's too strong. He's too quick. No defenders can keep up. Back post. Oh, I thought that was it. I was ready to celebrate. But I think we're going to go in at half time 2 nil up, which obviously isn't bad, is it? Really good performance so far. I'm actually doing something I never really do, and that's two changes at half time. I've already won this game, if you ask me. Or is that too cocky? Is it too early? I don't know. But I want to save two of my better players at the moment, Carrasco and Koke, for the game against Bayern Munich. So resting them a little bit more than usual. Is it going to backfire? Saul through for Williams. Try and put this through for Griezmann. I'll go and get that. Yes, he's through. Surely it's his second of the game. Surely. What a save. Absolutely unbelievable. That might just be the save of the game. Look at this. You, you bet your house on it, wouldn't you, that he's going to score. But he's just about got it. Well, unfortunately, guys, we had some bad news. Williams picked up an injury, so Correa has had to come on. But I didn't even see the injury happen. I don't even know what it was. But anyway, Correa's come on and made a big impact so far. Here's Thomas. Drives it in. Oh, Thomas, you are a CDM for sure. That was poor. However, having Correa is always a good option. He's so good for me. Look at him go. It's just too easy. Ball through. Now here's Jota. Can you finish it again? He scored one just like that in the last episode, and he scores again. And that is the end of the game. Hopefully, if we play like this, we can do well against Bayern and Barcelona. But, of course, they're a completely different animal. We'll soon find out. I just really hope Williams isn't out for too long. He is such an important player for us. He's injured for three months. A broken ankle. And I didn't even see it happen. This is exactly why I brought in Adama. I knew this would happen. I absolutely knew it. But luckily, we can put Griezmann on the right. And of course, put Gamero up top, which is a winning combination. We've already used it multiple times. But the fact that I can bring in Adama for, you know, three months as a backup. I'm so, so glad I made that decision. What a signing he could prove to be. We're playing at the Allianz Arena against, I would personally say, the best team in the game. It is so, so difficult. Let's have a look at this team. Hummels and Boateng in there. Alaba and Lam. Lam is retiring at the end of the season, by the way. What a legend he's been. Lewandowski up front. Luckily enough, even though Williams is injured, we've got our main, main players Fully fit and available. Gamero does come in up front, so Griezmann's going to drop onto that right wing. But for me, man for man, I think Bayern have the stronger team. Straight away, though, Alaba's in. Oh, no. Oh, Robin. Very close to opening the scoring there within five minutes. Not a very good start. Let's get on our first attack now. Carrasco into Gamero. Into Saul. Out for Cancelo. Now we get the cross in. Saul's running in. He's open. Heads it. Off the post. Rebound. Oh, man. Here's Lewandowski. With three at the back, we're going to struggle a little bit. But luckily, Oscar's shot was really weak. Yes, Saul. Great tackle on Robin there. Flicks it back to Alexandro. Into Koke. Come on. Griezmann. Through ball. Oh, 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 Cancelo. Oh, he's got it. It's Gamero, actually. To Griezmann, surely. Away goal. That's what I needed. Okay. Relax, relax. It's nothing. It's nil-nil. Pretend it didn't happen. 
The worst thing I could do right now is be elated, be excited. I just need to relax. So, all right. It's only 1-0 anyway. Easily can concede two or three goals against a team like Bayern. Gamero did so well, though, didn't he, to win that ball back. I mean, Bayern just took too long with it in the box, which is a really dangerous thing to do against three up top. But Carrasco's done well here. We'll give it back. Right, Griezmann, this is a big moment. Go on, Griezmann, go on. Ho, oh, oh, Alaba's done really well. Can I win the header again? It's going to be a corner. No, it's been kept in. But again, look at the way they're defending. They're passing it around in the box. It's like Pep's still there. There we go. Okay, really good first half. It's tough, though. Bayern do look very good going forward. But it's me with the 1-0 advantage. Just to protect myself a little bit, I'm going to bring my wing backs back into a left wing back and a right wing back formation. So we are a little bit more protected against players like Robin, Ribéry, just in case. So... Effectively, we're playing 5-2-3 now. All I want is that clean sheet. I really want it. And maybe a second away goal. That would be a real killer. And that is a brilliant ball. Cancelo's in here. Why did I shoot? Why did I just do that? What a waste. I feel like I'm kind of doing a Simeone right now. Go 1-0 up and then just defend. I'm hanging on to the ball as much as possible. Oh, no. Alexandro missed his tackle. Right, go, Dean. You've got to close him down. Oh, that's a bad tackle. Okay, I should have stayed on my feet there. It's going to be a yellow, I'm hoping. Please don't be a red. Right, yeah, it couldn't have been a red. That would have been harsh. So, we've got to defend this now. Please, 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 team, don't let me down. Come on, get it out. Yes, yeah, on black, well done. There's no way I'm risking it. Godin is coming off. He's been really, really good today, but that yellow card could be dangerous. Also, another two defensive changes. Kessie... And Thomas coming on in midfield. Just a extra bit of stamina. They're a little bit quicker as well. So they're going to help me out massively, I'm sure. Come on, ref. Blow the whistle. They've brought on Muller. It's too late. He should have started as well. There you go. That is the end of the game, guys. 1-0 away from home. That away goal could be absolutely vital. Really cannot wait to play them at home now. It's time for Barcelona. And it's another must-win game. Although we do have two games in hand, so technically this isn't an absolute must win because we'll still be top of the table if we win the remaining games that we've got in hand. But Barcelona have played 24, they've lost six. Let's make it seven, shall we? We've already beaten them once this season, we can do it again. Even though we've got a slightly different side, including a debut for Adama on that right wing against his old, old, old club, I guess it is now. Um, Adama making his debut against Barcelona. That's absolutely incredible. This is the Barcelona side. MSN up front. Messi, Suarez, Neymar. In midfield, they've got Iniesta, Busquets and Rivald. Interesting. Robert, Roberto, sorry. Mascherano, PK, and I'm guessing Alba at the left side. I didn't see that. But this is a huge game, guys. But as I said, we've beaten them already this season. We can do it again. And hopefully Adama has a good debut. Now here's Adama. We'll find, we'll find the pass. And that, that is lucky. That is so lucky. Carrasco's in here. Finesse shot. Go on. Oh, to Stegen. Here's Adama again. Ronaldo chop. Hit it. Go on. Oh, yeah. Too good to be true. There's no way he'd score from there. Go on, Adama. Yes. Great pass from Kessie. Come on. Keep it in. This needs to be the cross of your life. It isn't bad. To Stegen wins it again. I need to win that. Yes, Alexandro. Now pass it inside. Carrasco to Adama. Pass over for Cancelo. Cross comes in. Go on, Carrasco. Roberto wins it. Play it back in for Adama again. Hits it. Saved again. Oh, man. This game is going to be interesting. That's for sure. We could be in trouble here. Jordi Alba. Oh, Jimenez. Fantastic tackle, but Neymar's got it. Needs to be careful with Neymar. He's gone through. Is he going to go for the cross? He is. Well defended by Godin. Comes out to Reed Wald. He hits it. No way. No way. Come on. What happened to Oblak? Did he struggle to get back up? Oh, he got caught. He got caught on Godin by the looks of it, but maybe he wouldn't have got back in time anyway. So it leaves an open goal. Simple, simple finish as well. Oh, that is gutting. We've made a decent start, but we find ourselves 1-0 down. He's walking off the pitch. No, I have to sub him. <sighs> so unlucky, man. Gamero comes on. Who else but Gamero? He'll probably get us a goal. Griezmann, though, please don't be injured for long. It's Mascherano. He's just, yeah, he's just out-muscled him. I think I've been very, very unlucky with injuries since FIFA 17 came out. In every career mode, 
I seem to get massive injuries to my best players. But I guess it happens to everyone. It's just, it's very frustrating. So right now, it's not looking good. Koke on the ball. Inside to Gamero. Through ball. Please, Car uh, Sandro. I thought it was Carrasco. And Sandro hits the bar. Koke with the rebound. I, I swear that if that was Carrasco, I think I would have scored. It's still not over though. Come on. Adama into Gamero. Oh, what a ball. Cancelo. Yes, Cancelo's in. And that might have just rescued a point, guys. Oh, it was coming. It was coming. This is a big goal, guys. It really is. This could genuinely help us win the league title. I know we're not there yet, but these are the kind of results that save you from losing out on the title because Barcelona gaining three points on us could be huge. It really could. And now we're going to stay the same distance apart. Yes, come on. Fantastic result. A one-all draw, not playing very well at all against Barcelona. We beat Bayern Munich. I would have rather got that win, to be honest. Adama, very decent debut. It really wasn't our best performance ever, but we still have two games in hand and we're one point clear at the top. Real Madrid, of course, though, have a game in hand on Barcelona, so it looks like they will jump up into second place if they get a win. And then when we play against Madrid... That will be such a huge, huge game. But I like the look of the table right now as we enter the final third of the season. But we got some bad news, guys. Well, actually, we got some good news first. Gaitan is back from his injury. But as you know, Griezmann picked up an injury. It's another broken ankle. Three months without possibly our best player. I mean, he's not even our top scorer, but Griezmann is a vital part of this team. So... If he was to leave in the summer, we're going to get a good feel for what it would be like without him in the next three months. But luckily, Gaetan comes back, so Gamero can come in, obviously, up front. And with Williams being out, we've got Adama, we've got Gaetan. Gaetan coming back is big as well, it really is. So, unfortunately, not the best news. We got two massive injuries today in this episode, but we're still looking good in the league table. My manager rating is up to 86, which is fantastic. And that rounds up the episode. So thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please do leave a like rating. I've seen the likes on the videos going down and down. If we could hit 3,000 on this video, that would be absolutely fantastic. And I will see you in the next one soon.